with another EP reaction, review, type of stuff. Uh, this is Travel by Mamamoo. I'm excited for this, man. I'm going to do my first ever Mamamoo album EP reaction. Let's get it. Let's go, man. I'm excited for this. First song, Travel. I really enjoy Moonbill. I really find it so fascinating. I really like um how like I don't know what's the word. It's kind of like how sweet she sounds. That's crazy. Pretend that you're fine. How's it? I'm scared for some reason. Wow, that's 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 very detailed. Can't estimate even for a single day my feelings moving up and down. Like I don't know. Like you know, no matter what day it is, I don't know how I'm gonna feel. Like I can't predict it. So. You know, it's moving crazy. I really like how I'm, I'm hearing more from Mumbia. Like, it's kind of like a mixture of her singing and rapping. Even that, you look fine. I'm not okay. Where's the destination? That's cool. We're gonna travel far away, break out from normality, and jump into the water. Mm. I understand that. I feel that at times. I feel like there's times where you just need to travel. You just need to get out of the situation that you're in and like get out of the rut. And that's where that song comes with this. The place doesn't matter. Get away. Start the engine. Let's go to paradise. Let's eat and play in this party. Like. Just get away from the situation that you're currently in. You know, like, sometimes you need to do that. Sometimes you just need to get away from where you are and understand that that's okay. It's okay to travel. It's okay to... Like, you don't even have to travel certain places. Like, just travel away from what's currently going on. That's a nice harmony. I love her raps. Her raps are so impactful. Like, listen to how the beat stops there, and it's just like the way she does that. I don't want to be like. You know, it's just like her. I feel like her raps are statements. They're not just. They're very like every rap that I've heard of her so far. They're they're well put. 
Like, it's well organised. They put her rap there for a reason. And it's for the song to settle. Even that, I love how she slow, Like, to the beat, she slows down the way that she raps. And it sounds like she took a deep breath. Wow, that is such a big message. Take away the heavy baggage as much as the sky, as if drawing the picture you dreamed as a child. Like, just let the heavy baggage and all that shit go away. And rem it's kind of like remembering, remembering like back when you were a kid, like where you didn't really have as much pressure. It's, that's what it sounds like. Wow. Woo, the night feels like it will be forever for me. It's time to wake up. I like that. Ooh. Wow, Win. She's got so. Oh, I love how um, Win and Huasa sound so well together, but I love how it go like Huasa goes off it. And then it's just like win on her own. And the way that she sounds on that is crazy. I like this song. This song's very different to the music I've heard of theirs. So I really enjoyed that. Ooh, and I know what song's next, so I'm excited. Next song is Aya. Let's get this shit, bro. I love this song. Ah. I shouldn't I shouldn't be listening to this song, but I love this song, so I'm gonna listen to it again. Aya. Aya. Yeah. I love this. Hey. I love how she sings at the ayo ayo. I love how that switches. It goes from I love you, say that we'll give each other the world, hate you, now aim arrows at each other. And that just shows like what happens in like relationships pretty much. Woo! Oh, 
I'm just so... The meaning behind this song is so... Oh, so intense. I love the production. I love how like two songs in how diverse this EP sounds like no, I, it's rare that EP oh not rare but EPs like this happens but it's just like it's interesting it's just interesting the two sounds that I've heard so far into this EP <laughs> like is that this really tells a story of like a relationship like this actually happens like you know like that part i really like that part where it's like no feelings left it's over it's over can't stand it anymore no feelings left like you never know that shit does happen and it doesn't even have to be relationship wise it can be in any type of relationship like it's so interesting how love can turn into like hate or like not having any feelings towards someone like there's so much that happens in that that um there's like so much that happens that it can destroy it and to me that's such an interesting thing like even like when I think about past relationships or friendships any of that type of shit that I've had like to just think about how quickly something can end and how toxic it can become it's so interesting <laughs> And even that, bro, I love that song. Oh shit! Whoops, that's not what I was meant to click. I I really like that song. I love that song. I really love I. Uh, to me, it's one of my favorite songs. Honestly, I love Mundial. I love everything about that song. Ah, right, let's go with Chuck. Next song. Ooh, funky. Chuck. Okay. I'm keen for this. Oh, 
so interesting how that developed and that's so interesting because that leads straight off Aya as well I like that. Now I can feel it. There's no final goodbye. And then from today, I will live for myself. Ooh, Ooh what a beat! Oh my god, the way that beat entered. And with her, oh fuck. Chuck light shines, chuck light shines through the gap between windows. You are my light. Ooh, the I'm tired of the words, sorry, repeating all of nerves. Now I hate them. Like, see, imagine hate, like, it's so interesting how love and hate happens. Like, you're able, when you love someone, you're able to deal with this little things. Like, here, where she goes, you make so much noise. You make so much sound when you're eating. I keep it in myself and have a dig as if it was, as if it's nothing. Like, I find that so interesting where it's like, Stuff that you think that you used to like, or like that you could um handle, you keep it inside you, even though it does bother you, and ugh, it's such an inter. This is really interesting. I really like this song though. I love that. There's no words left to say. Our relationship, our relationship ended. Oh. Wow, Solo's vocals there. Oh my god, I, I, Moonbiao pisses me off, and like, n like, in a good way, like, oh, I just love the way that she raps, I honestly feel like she's become one of my favourite artists to listen to. Ooh, that's a good line. Please turn off the lights. I can't do this anymore. Deadline. And then meeting because we have to. I can't do that. Ooh, let's stop wasting our time. Just that one sentence. Like that's how you know it's over. Like don't even try it. Don't don't even think of trying to make up. Like it's done. Oh, that sounds so sick. Wow, that backup vocal.
I like the meaning of this song where it's like I'll live for myself from now. Like I had like I kept a lot of stuff inside me that really bugged me. And you know when it happens, like in life and see like this could even tie to friendships as well. Like there's a lot of people that bear a lot of stuff when it comes to friendships and it's like you didn't have to do that. Like you could have just you know let it out and this is what happens when I feel like a relationship friendship any of that type of stuff reaches breaking point and it's like alright this is done like bye Gosh. that's a sick production though this is so ah oh, it's so interesting I really like this song I wouldn't Man, I loved I Have I Wouldn't Mind. It just was the title. One of the best B-sides they ever had so far. I really like this track. I like the whole thing about it. <laughs> like, honestly, Buell's rap in this album is crazy. Like, it's kind of annoying me. Mm. It's so good. Alright, let's go to Diamond. This is just interesting, like, this album, mini EP, whatever you want to call it, it's gone everywhere, and as well, it's still stuck to a story, which is really good. They were looking for diamonds. Fuck you, Moonbyo. Bro, she's pissing me off. <laughs> Solar sounds. It sounds like she's hypnotizing you. And how she's doing it so slowly. The da, you know. My God, you find a diamond. It's diamond. Diamond. Yeah. I really like how different Sola has said diamond. She has said diamond in like five different ways, and they sound completely different to each other. Yeah. I'm the only one. one. <sighs> I like how she let that beat right out. I'm the only one, and then. Space, let it breathe. One, one. Take on a to the stealthy, open me, bell bang it. Cool, pile a mug of benefit. I'll be your corner, do the ceremony. We can carry on, I will give you all. Let me see. Oh my god, Ween. Can carry on, I will give Her voice. Yo, I'm sorry, but Mumbia pisses me off. Like, I'm, I'm upset with her. <laughs> I really love how I'm hearing the versatility of this group. She's got 
when Hwasa and Sola have such beautiful voices, and it's like high, low, whatever, it doesn't matter, in the middle, like they can hit ranges, and I like that. I love Munbyo's um, ad libs as well. Damn. This. Fuck. This whole thing has just taken me everywhere. And I love it. It hasn't stayed on like one sound. Munbyo wouldn't. Comp Munbyo album wouldn't be, wouldn't be complete without an empowerment song, a ballad that's gonna make you cry. A song about sex. <laughs> I just really like this. I like how different it is to all the other music that I've heard. You know what I mean? Oh, here we go. Alright, last song. Good night. I'm excited. <laughs> just sit back and enjoy the journey. Please don't wake up today and sleep tight. Hope bad dreams won't visit you. such a beautiful voice. Ooh, I like that. Even just the sleep type good night. It's like a kind of like singing rappy voice. I like that. Ooh, I will become a being. I will become a being. Oh my god, Hwasa sounds amazing on this song. Oh, 
that's such a beautiful the warmth that fills up this place i will precious these stories wow oh my god so Wow, that's so beautiful. I'll visit your dreams tonight so that no night make it up Oh my god. That's beautiful. Fuck off. Sing to me, win. Sing to me, win. <laughs> the fact that I'm crying is crazy. Oh my god, the way that that hits on Wayne's voice is so beautiful. The way it goes from Munbia to Wayne made me cry. Woo! <laughs> I can see why this whole album's called Travel because you travel through a lot of emotions and a lot of different sounds through this album. Oh, I love that. It ends with like a pinya. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh my god, what a beautiful. What a way to end it. Oh, that's so beautiful. Alright. Oh my god, man. Wow, that took me through a lot of emotions. That made me cry, man. That song and the last and diamond. I don't know why. Diamond almost made me cry as well. But. The reason this song made me cry was because of the meaning of the song. Oh my god, it just crushed me. Yeah, I agree with this. The part where Wien sang without any instrumentals. Oh my god, yeah. It broke me. That's the part that made me cry. Going off her and, um... What's it? What's that? Going off her and Mungbiao's part made me cry because... The way they just, oh my god, the way they just work off each other. They have such beautiful voices. See, oh my god, I almost cried. Man, lucky you almost cried. I cried. <laughs> like, honestly, Mumjo's gorgeous voice is amazing. And I love to, I love hearing her sing. Like, what I like about her is... I feel like this is important. This part where she's saying is so important. And I felt like that's the reason why she's saying. Um, honestly, this is probably one of my favorite songs of um, Mama Mo because it just shows. Um, how diverse they can be and it shows like the beauty of each member's voice and like yeah I just like that song a lot um I like the whole project to be honest I feel like the project was awesome um I like how like I said I like how you travel through so many emotions in this one album album you know what I mean album EP whatever the hell they call it like you travel through a lot and that's what really hit me about it and I like it because it's just like damn like this is five songs and all five songs felt like they had a meaning of, to be there they felt like they had to be on this and that's what I like about it I feel like the songs are just so strong they carry themselves and 
like I said, the fact that it made me cry, that says a lot, because I didn't really cry a lot, so, it, like I said, it broke me, it literally broke me, I was like, damn, like, this song, the whole album is just beautiful, and, yeah, I'm keen to hear more, honestly, I'm keen to hear more of Mama More, because I really like what they do, I really like the music that they make, I really like how... Each artist stands out in their own way. Like I said, the way Moonbiar raps is offensive to me because she's so talented. Like, to me, the way that she suits almost every... I feel like every song I've heard, she suits. And it's just from her rapping. That is insane to me. Because it's hard to rap like that. It's hard to make every rap count and I don't know why I feel like with her with her in Mamamoo she has a reason like her, each each artist has their reason of being there but I feel like Moonbill Moonbill brings something that not many other artists brings to a group honestly I really like this whole thing I love Fuasa's voice I love Moonbills, I love, I love it all, and like I said, it just took me through a lot of emotions, and I feel like that's a great thing about an EP as well. I love the diverse sounds, and I just love that it it was a ride, it was a journey, and I really like that. But yeah, that's all I really gotta say. So if you like this, give this a thumbs up. No, that comment if you wanna see more. <laughs> Subscribe. And remember, keep living a crazy life and stay blessed. Peace. Ladies, ah, uh, whoop. Yeah.